Hello, all glory to Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So some people have um, sent me messages about Greg Hallett and wanted me to talk about him. So I'll talk about him briefly. So who is he? He is somebody who claims to be the rightful king of the UK and to be the Christ. So before we start, I'll play some video, just some clips of him talking so you get a sense of who he is. And I've been running the Shin since 1980. And the Shin is the forbidden secret. And the forbidden secret is the British royal family are illegitimate and the biggest secret in the Catholic Church is that there were two Jesuses. So they were from the same part of the world, Dan? Yeah, they were third cousins. They were actually second cousins but one generation apart. So if you imagine two generations of 30 years and three generations of 20 years, so they were the same age, second, third cousins. Uh, that and then... All of Revelations in the Bible I fulfilled. Plus, I was initiated into the house of David. So I can claim to be first in the house of David. Yeah. Um, and I was registered in the Holy See as a member of the Star family, which means descended from Jesus and Mary, which, which all the royals of the UK and Europe try to claim descendancy from in order to substantiate their monarchies. So there's, there's code in that, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And it's that the last person to represent the end times new age was Jesus, or otherwise known as Joshua, Emmanuel, John, Yeshua, John Ram. Um, so um, his descendants were the five good emperors. And what you just read from Emperor Caesar, Mark Antonio Aurelius was more spiritual writing than in the entire Bible. And he's, a, he's an Emperor Caesar and he's supposed to be a big bully. Yeah. Right. But he wasn't, he was, uh, and they were all were extremely spiritual people because they were taught by Jesus who survived his execution and lived in just above Pharaoh in the Algarve who wrote the book of predictions which means it's me, and now I'm sort of... And so the Caesars were more spiritual than the entire Bible, and Jesus' writings were actually removed from the Bible by Paul, and the Bible is actually Paulist. It's not... Pauline, Jesus. yeah. It's Pauline, yeah. It's Paulism. Um, he wrote at least a third of the Gospels, maybe more, and they took the Jesus stuff out. Well, it's actually worse than that, um, because... Paul was working for Emperor Nero and Emperor Nero faked his suicide and Paul died at the same time. Mm. And then Nero in his fake suicide became an ancestor of the Rothschild family. Okay, so that's who he is. He's making a lot of claims. Some of them you have seen. He's claiming that there were two Jesus. The Jesuses were third covens, cousins, and he, that he's been initiated into the house of David, that he's first in the house of David, that he's descended from Jesus and Mary. Of course, Jesus didn't have children. Uh, the last person to represent Jesus in the New Age was Jesus, and that he's the new representation of the New Age. Uh, Jesus had descendants with the five good Roman Empire emperors. Uh, yeah, that Jesus survived his execution. That Jesus' was writing is removed from the Bible. Paul wrote most of the Bible and the Paul was working for Nero. So, obviously, if you're a Christian, I mean, alarm bells should be ringing. <laughs> is he the Christ? Well, he's not Jesus, is he? Didn't die for our sins, did he? So, what's your authority to examine whether or not these claims are true? As far as the King of England stuff, I'm not an expert in that. I don't know. Maybe he's the King of England, but he's not Jesus. Um, so, I, I trust in the Word of God. And the word of God, by the word of God, Greg Hallett is an antichrist. He's not, he's not the Christ. He's not the one who died for, died for our sins. He's not the one whose blood covers our sins. And you know, he didn't die, get raised, and then he isn't sitting at the right hand of the Father advocating for us. So, how do you even go through this? I mean... Do you believe that God can give us his word and preserve it? 
The words of the Lord are pure words and silver, tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Thou shalt keep them, O Lord, and shalt preserve them from this generation forever. So if you believe in God, and you believe in a, a creator, who created everything, then surely you believe in a God who can give us his word. You surely you don't believe that the King James Bible, what we have, is all wrong. I mean, Hallett is essentially saying the Bible is all wrong, but then also he's claiming to fulfill the Bible. He's claiming to fulfill the book of Revelation, despite the fact that he's basically discounting all the rest of the Bible. And then he's interpreting the book of Revelation the way he wants to interpret it, which, I mean, he doesn't fulfill the book of Revelation. And if you want proof of this, read the book of Revelation. It's pretty obvious. And what about all? The, what about the concept of sin? Like I haven't listened to every single thing that Greg Hallett has talked about, but he hasn't talked about sin. So, do you believe that you're a sinner? Do you believe that you are a fallen creation? That you've you've sinned and you've fallen short of the glory of God? I do. I believe I have fallen short of the glory of God, and I don't think that Greg Hallett is the going to save me from that. And what about all of the people who? have lived for the last 2,000 years since Jesus and have died for Jesus. I mean, is Greg Hallett going to save them? Did God give us his word and then just neglect to tell us that the Messiah was a guy from New Zealand? I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, what was Abraham hoping for? The whole thing is ridiculous. I've been putting off making this video because... It's just, I mean, maybe he's the Antichrist. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, if he becomes the king of England and makes a seven-year covenant with Israel, then let's say, yeah, he's the Antichrist. But we don't know. He might just be a, a distraction. Who knows? I am come in my father's name, says Jesus, and you receive me not. If Anelis shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe to receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that come from God only? When Jesus came, he fulfilled the law. He didn't come and say, oh, the Old Testament is all false, but but therefore, I, but also fulfill the Old Testament. He came and said, I fulfill it. And he did fulfill it. He fulfilled the Old Testament. Well, all part of the Old Testament, there's still more fulfillment to come. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the, pro or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So I don't know what else to say other than, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. Because ye have... But unless you have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and then he was buried and rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So what else is there to say? I mean, I can see how if you don't believe in Jesus, if you reject the New Testament, then you, you've got no grounds really to dispute his claims. But... For a Christian, I mean, and to a non-Christian, if you're watching this, I will say that, well, I'll read Second Thessalonians 2 to you. And we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by gathering together unto him, that, be not, that you be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who poseth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember the mystery of iniquity, the authority work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. Then that wicked shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him who is coming whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So if you want to put your trust and faith in somebody who didn't, obviously, hasn't died for your sins, and who rejects the Bible, and who hasn't talked about sin, 
and talks about a whole bunch of occult stuff. Um, okay, that's your choice. It's a pretty dumb choice, in my opinion, because there's only one Savior, and his name is Jesus Christ. Anyway, I hope you make the right choice. May Jesus bless you and keep you. Amen.